marks the first day that I am eating a Christmas sandwich of the year. May there be many more to come. I will also be having a piece of leftover Halloween chocolate to go with that because I like a mixture of seasons. And joining me for lunch today, the greatest company in all the land. I don't mean to break your heart but I need to get up. Not conducive to your plan, really, is it? Hey, friends, welcome back to my channel. How is it going? I hope you're doing really well. I hope you're having a lovely day. The skies are a blanket of grey. I can hear pitter pattery rain against the windows. It is cold enough to have a big chunky cardigan on today. I'm on my third coffee by who knows what time. Um, and hey, in my world, that's a perfect day to pick up the vlogging camera. I spent the morning basically trying to get my life together <laughs> you know that kind of mindset where you're like wow i really just sort my entire life out today that's the that's the mood that we're in today because yesterday i actually got back from a little trip to center parks with my gal pals which was so wholesome and wonderful and good for the soul it was with my three friends alex kate and jenny who I think I've probably told this story before. I think I've officially run out of stories to share on YouTube, but the way that I met those girls was when we were about 14, we met on a McFly message board, back in the era of message boards. Uh, we were all extremely passionate McFly fans were still are and we used to talk to each other on this message board after school every single day and then over on msn as well um and here we are now at the ages of nearly 32 33 um and we literally continuously talk to each other 24 7 <laughs> so <laughs> what a tale of friendship that is and because the four of us are like spread all over the country we live all over the place and um, we've started this new like annual tradition of trying to do a little trip together once a year and this year we decided to do centre parks which was great centre parks is honestly like one of my happy places <laughs> i kind of wish i could live there honestly you've got pottery painting you've got badminton you've got bowling you've got the river rapids and you live in a cute little house while you're there and then you just get visited by like geese and squirrels and ducks anyway i got back from sherwood forest yesterday and i've just woken up this morning um, and I feel just like I need to get my life together. <laughs> like that's not something I tell myself every single day. I used this morning to get anything that was like super urgent out of the way. I've emptied my inbox, I've replied to all the messages, I've sorted out my calendar, I've done some urgent deadline -y bits that needed doing. And now that I've done anything that was really pressing and super duper like time dependent, um, I'm gonna use this afternoon as a little bit of a reset and kind of get all those really pesky, annoying things off my list so that I can knuckle down and focus properly and stop being the queen of procrastination. It's not really procrastination. It's just that I never get anything done until I'm under pressure. So I really like to leave things as last minute as physically possible. I guess it's probably just some kind of form of self-punishment that I like to make myself as stressed and conscious of the clock as possible. And then I produce my finest work. <laughs> Today is going to be for sorting out, tidying up, freshening up, you know, a proper little reset for both the house and my working environment and my surroundings and also myself. I started off with a big hair wash this morning, which was long overdue. I couldn't bother to style it properly, but I gave it a rough dry so that it's at least not sitting like soaking wet on my shoulders. And we're gonna get stuff done today. I'm quite looking forward to the feeling in a few hours time of sitting down and just feeling like everything is a bit more under control because at the moment it feels like it's not. <laughs> 
at all. This can be a little bit of a calming, cozy type vlog, but also maybe a little bit motivational. So maybe pop this one on and do your own little reset. 20 minutes, set a timer, see what we can get done. And I think I'm gonna start with the kitchen. So, coffee's up, let's go. So this is why we're having a cozy day indoors and sorting this home out. I'm gonna pop you up here for now, but in this new kitchen, I'm yet to find, that's a bit wonky, isn't it? But I'm yet to find the prime filming spot. Put you on the shelf next to the extractor van for now, but who knows? I'll have to try out lots of different combos. Actually, no, this feels too high up, but I don't like it. I can balance you on the pestle and or mortar. Which one's which? Who knows? So when I am having a day like this and trying to get my head in the game, get you, get you, get you, get you, get your head in the game, woo! I like to write everything down so that I can just kind of vomit all my thoughts onto the page and then I feel slightly more in control of what feels like a knotted ball of twine in my brain. So I want to do a quick kitchen clean. It's actually not too bad, to be honest. But there's just like, I don't know if you'll be able to see behind me. Washing up to be put away, there's like laundry stuff out and about and stuff. It needs a sweep and things like that. Um, so I'm going to rattle through that. I'm going to do the same in the living room. But in the living room, I also want to give the plants a little bit of TLC. Because they're looking a little bit sorry for themselves. They need a little bit of a pep talk and some motivational chats. I really want to hoover the stairs because, you know, when you just left it, maybe like a week too long and it starts to look like some kind of major yeti has been shedding <laughs> all over the carpet that's the point we're at and that major yeti would be me i want to change the bed definitely as for the spare bedroom that is a project for another day because <laughs> that room is not okay it's literally not okay. It has become so many different things, that room. We really need to have a bit of a think about it. I really need to start that room again because it's kind of chaotic and it stresses me out just being there. <laughs> so we'll leave that one for another day, but I do want to clean the bathroom. So we'll finish off on that triumphant note, shall we? So there's my quick fire to-do list for a little bit of motivation. We all know that ticking off a tiny box with a biro is a little uh, a little pat on the head for being a successful human being. We're gonna start in here. We're gonna just do a quick little spruce up and when I'm doing this in each room. Is this boring? It's just occurred to me that maybe this is very boring. We're gonna roll with it. When I'm doing like a little quick fire freshen up for a room like this, all I do is set a time. I'm gonna go for 15 minutes today and then I work clockwise. So I literally pick a point in the room and then I work my way around clockwise. And it's actually surprising how much you can get done under those slightly stressful conditions. <laughs> Let's root out some cleaning stuff. I've stored it all, oops, stored it all in the bottom of the larder cupboard. Um, and that's why we're keeping all the cleaning stuff. And I've got it all in this handy little pink basket, which I got at an event literally probably about eight years ago now. <laughs> but it's the perfect, uh, perfect little plastic basket to keep all your cleaning stuff in. And you can just like take it into a room with you. Oh, uh, is this really the uh, the commentary and the moments that are interesting in my life these days? I'm seeing my whole life flash before my eyes. What did I used to talk about? <laughs> okay, we're ready. 15 minutes on the clock. Go! Oh, I forgot to put a podcast on. <laughs> Is an order that I placed with cherries only a couple of days ago now 
um, and this is basically full of all the household essentials that we needed and handily loads of cleaning stuff. Right, what do we have here? Oh, I forgot I ordered all this as well. Well, this just got a whole lot more exciting than I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was basically just household essentials, all the cleaning stuff that we needed. Uh, I forgot I bought a load of Christmas snacks too. <laughs> Please excuse the legolas hair. I had to get out of my face while I was cleaning the kitchen floor. It was doing my head in. I have talked about cherries on here before, but if you are not familiar, sorry, if you haven't heard of them before, if you've never used them before, um, discount code incoming. It is a shopping app or website that is full of all of the household essentials you could ever need for really great prices. It is a good place to go to help you save some money on your favourite household brands for like your favourite cleaning products and your laundry products and all that other kind of stuff. They also have some like lovely little kind of cosy bits and homeware bits, anything household related basically. Also a really great snack selection. We tend to put a cherries order in when we've kind of run out of everything at once um, because things like household products and cleaning items and all that kind of stuff, they get really heavy and because we don't have a car, it's always quite annoying to go off and do that shop because then we have to walk back with it all and get the bus with it all. Um, so I tend to kind of save it all up and then when it's all run out, I'll place a big cherries order to stock up on all my favorites because it's all delivered straight to the doorstep. So before I carry on with everything else that I'm doing today, I feel like I will actually need some of the stuff in here so I'm gonna quickly run through everything that I picked up in my cherries order. Um, if you've never used it before and you fancy placing an order, I'm gonna pop a link in the description box down below. And if you are a new customer, you can use the code LucyWood25 and that will get you 25% off your first order and free shipping. So a really good time to stock up and save a really good amount of money. So this is definitely an order of two halves here. Should I start with the sensible things? No, do you know what? I'm gonna start with the non-sensible things because they're much more exciting. The first thing that I was drawn to, it's time, my friends. And I feel, I can't I feel like you can't go wrong with the classic. So I picked up the Cadbury Dairy Milk advent calendar, but then I got Adam something slightly more exciting. I got him the Heroes advent calendar, which I know he's gonna be absolutely chuffed with. A little mini crunchy, first thing in the morning. Don't mind if I do. December rules. And they also had a really great selection of the Christmas chocolate that you've just got to have around the house, you know? Christmas isn't Christmas without a box of roses. And what else have we got in here? A box of heroes and a box of Quality Street. I got the three heavy hitters. Wow, I really did go crazy, but my plan was to just stock up on these now while they're a really good price and then just put them away until December. Whether they actually make it that long, we'll have to see. I got some treeslets, otherwise known as cheeselets. And I mean, you've got to have some mini twiglets. Even if you don't really like them, you've still got to eat these through Christmas. After eights, of course, for something a little more sophisticated. <laughs> jelly tots were my absolute favorite growing up. Like I was like synonymous with jelly tots and I would always get a tube of these in my Christmas stocking. And uh, obviously I don't get a Christmas stocking anymore, but I can still treat myself. I can still make my inner child very, very happy. So, um, the ultimate nostalgic Christmas sound. An extra box of 200 string lights in warm white because you can never have too many fairy lights if you ask me. And these I'm gonna put aside just as a little kind of extra prezi for a couple of friends. Um, there was a couple of little craft kits on there and you know me, I cannot resist a craft kit. So this is a little make your own reindeer little sewing set, how sweet is that? And then I also really like this one. For the gin and tonic lover in your life, a little bottle of gin with little sequins on it. And these turn into little Christmas decorations and key rings. These were such a bargain and perfect little stocking stuffers. I bought a version of this for Adam a while back when he had like neck and shoulder pain. And it's the best hot water bottle because you can literally wrap it around you like this while you're working. I actually might go back and pick up a couple more of these because these are such a good little bonus prezi. Really lovely quality, lovely and soft. Um, and I feel like lots of people in the family would be pleased with one of those. Here's all the slightly less festive, but equally important <laughs> household stuff. Quick fire. I bought us a new hangy peg thing because Adam broke ours and I was really annoyed. We've got flash bathroom, perfect timing because I'm about to go and clean the bathroom. Some new minky cleaning cloths because ours are looking really scabby and disgusting and it was well overdue that we had some new ones. Got Mr. Muscle's drain gel, every lady's dream. I've got duck deep action clean in the fragrance marine wave. A couple of floors, I got a linen fresh and I got a fragrance that I'd never heard of before called cypress and sea sage. Um, and I got two of these because in this house, we get through quite a lot of this stuff because 
Adam, it makes Adam feel like he's done a deep clean of the house. He's actually just made the kitchen smell nice. Um, but in his mind, that's a deep clean. I also got some little fizzers for the toilet to make me feel like I've really got my life together. Uh, these are the Astonish Toilet Bowl Fizz and Fresh. And last but not least, I got some Lenore Fabric Softener. And I got one of these little trays for the fridge. I just thought it might be quite handy. It's not something we've really ventured into, fridge storage. So we'll see if we're a fridge storage kind of household, shall we? And that is everything in my cherries order. I'm very excited about all of this. It's weird what you get excited about, isn't it? I'm afraid that does mean that I now have to get back to cleaning, which is the bad news. And now I've really got no excuse because I've got, I mean, got all this stuff to use now, haven't I? Best believe I'm bejeweled when I'm walking the room. I can still make the whole place shimmer. I'm just gonna give it a quick once over. Nothing too exciting in here either, really. But like every room in our house, there's just limited storage and when things don't get put away properly, uh, it just all looks a little bit messy and cluttered. So everything's just gonna get shoved in a drawer, basically. And I'm gonna do my classic clockwise cleaning approach. I'm actually gonna start with the windowsill, which is what you're on right now, and then just work my way around. We'll go for a 15 minute timer. Bish bash bosh. Ready, go. Okay, I actually need to clean the bathroom. <laughs> a quick once over I'm not sure you need to see that really there's probably things that don't belong on the internet um but yeah that was pretty pretty efficient actually I'm pleased with myself next up we are onto the living room which as you can see needs a little bit of a spruce and a polish up there's a lot of stuff just lying around everywhere and I will say this is my favorite room in the house I think but it is my least favorite room to clean <laughs> simply because there is just so much stuff in here there are just so many things in this room that it makes it a bit of a nightmare to clean properly, like dusting and stuff. But the thing is, my idea of like a perfect, cozy, snuggly kind of living room is one that's filled with things, like nice, colourful, bright, cozy things. Some would say clutter and mess and obnoxious decor. I would say cozy. So it's really a blessing and a curse when that's your idea of a good time in a living room. Um, right now it feels like a curse because I need to move everything off every surface to dust it down properly. Might skip a few corners, not gonna lie. But the first thing that has to be done in this house is clean up the coffee mugs and the drinking glasses because my calling card in life is just a trail of mugs, honestly, wherever I go. These glasses here actually that I'm just clearing up here. In fact, there's a grand total of three on this coffee table, which is embarrassing because they're all mine. These are originally from made.com. They're so cool. They've got this like ribbed style to them. They've got like a little frilly shape at the top. And I bought the first set of those that we had from made.com, which is unfortunately gone into administration now, which is such a shame. If you happen to work for them, I'm thinking of you. I went to buy us another set of those when we got the kitchen done because <laughs> We smashed a couple, not gonna lie. So I really wanted to replace them. Um, and then obviously Maid is now gone and you can't buy their things anymore. So I was gutted um, because I absolutely love those glasses and I've never found anything that compares. So I went on Facebook Marketplace, just like on the off chance that there might be a few lying around on Facebook. And I found a whole brand new set on there for 20 quid. I was absolutely buzzing. So we got a whole new six of those for 20 quid, like brand new, so amazing. Um, so just a little note to say, don't ever forget about Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> there are absolute gems on there for such a bargain. Most of the time secondhand, which is great. Everyone knows the only part of tidying up the living room that really matters is arranging the cushions <laughs> to make it look like your living room is this tidy all the time. <laughs> sums up my uh my general brain vibe actually you see our flip clock up here 
<laughs> it's run out of battery, so that's just what it looks like all the time at the moment. <laughs> Makes me feel like I'm living in the twilight zone. I need to text Adam to pick up another big battery for that tonight. Okay, living room complete. Next onto the stairs. We all know the first part of doing the stairs is just carting all the crap that's sitting on the stairs <laughs> actually upstairs. Okay, the last 15 minute timer of the day to sort out this bedroom. We've got a mess over here. We've got a mess tucked in this little corner here. We've got a mess on my dressing table. We've got washing to put away and all sorts of things around the place. If I'm honest, I can't think of a lot of things that I want to do less than change the bed right now. But that is being a grown up. I have actually reached the point in life where I'm thinking I would quite like to invest in a set of linen bedding. Just because it looks so nice. It's like the ultimate cosy bed setup. And whenever I see it, I think, wow, that is, that's just the ultimate goal right there. But um, it's so expensive and I'm not sure it's actually worth it. I think I'm just being a bit silly. But it just makes a bed look so lovely and like homely and cosy and cute. And I don't know, maybe I'll put it on my Christmas list. I think Father Christmas would see that on a letter and be like, are you joking? I'm not bringing that love. Something with a bit more imagination, please. And I might think about the trek from the North Pole, but linen bedding, got to be joking. I can also hear the cat around here somewhere. And I don't know where she is. I, th I think she's just like in the pile of bedding somewhere now. Where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> <laughs> and if you're about to tell me that I should have ironed my bedding, you clearly don't know me as a person. You're clearly new around here. There'll be people yelling at their screens watching me do this, like, do the ghost trick. Do the two corner spin fold triple pike turn trick. Do the polka dot New Jersey double twist. Um, I'll try that next time. <laughs> Until then, I'll stick to this chaotic method because we're nearly there. Thank you. I think we did it, didn't we? I call that a success. How about you? She said yes. <laughs> there you go. That's a that's a nuzzle of approval, I think. I'll give you a little I'll give you a little mini tour of the bits that I've tidied anyway. <laughs> Nobody's seeing that spare bedroom. So this is the bedroom, which you've seen. 10 million times before. The only thing that has changed is I've had to move my dressing table over that side because it's just so dark <laughs> that I need as much light as I can possibly get while I'm putting my makeup on. Got a cute little couple of bits on the fireplace, nice and autumnal. And a stack of books hidden behind the pictures in there. And there she goes. See you in about six hours probably. <laughs> To be fair, it looks so comfy. And then we'll head out here. Please ignore the cat toys. And this is the washing that's got to go on. But the stairs you've seen 10,000 million times, I think. And the little area that we've got at the top of the stairs here, that hasn't changed since the last time you saw it. I think I'm going to get some new prints to go up here. I like to mix my prints up semi-regularly. So I think we'll get some new ones to go up there soon. Go to the right here. So this is how the living room is looking these days. Obviously there used to be a fridge here. We've just kind of put these here as a little placeholder. I'd quite like to get a drop leaf dining table to kind of slot in the space there so that we can get that out when we want to have nice dinners with friends and stuff. For now it's got a giant plant and a leopard in it. <laughs> I still love this room. We haven't done a lot to this recently either, but it's very cute and cozy. Oh, this little corner as well we've got the big bookshelf we've got the little armchair and then we've got the record player set up around this way we've got the kitchen that you've seen 10 million times recently you've probably seen this kitchen <laughs> more than you've seen your own kitchen recently this is the setup that we tend to have in the evening we tend to have the neon on the camera's not going to light that very much though and then we have the little lights under the shelves which make it nice and ambient and then a little look just through here <laughs> last but not least we have the bathroom and um, the extractor fans on so you'll probably be able to hear that but this is still looking nice as well Hello. so yeah we're pretty much done with the house to be honest i think that's probably as much as we're going to be doing it is one of those things that's just like never finished honestly like now we've done the kitchen i kind of want to start back at the beginning i know for sure i want to have a rejig in that spare bedroom because it's just not working for what it needs to be at the moment yeah that's the next room that really needs some attention so <laughs> time to start all over again basically Right, I am officially 
wrapping up for the day. The kettle is going on and pasta is being made. So Adam is actually out tonight. He's at a gig with one of his pals all the way up in Camden. Um, so he'll probably be back quite late, I think. Um, so I'm having dinner without him tonight, which normally involves me making something very rubbish or getting myself a cheeky little takeaway. But luckily for me, when he cooked his famous sausage pasta the other night, there was a leftover portion. So I'm gonna have that out the fridge and I'm gonna have some pasta and I'm gonna show that pasta a real good time. I'm just looking up pasta shapes we've got and trying to decide what kind of pasta shape I wanna eat. What's a girl to do? I might go for, if you can see up here on the carb shelf, <laughs> Um, I was gonna go for this, Orichietti. They're the best, they're the best pasta, they pick up the sauce so well. But we haven't got very much of that. I feel I may regret that decision. So actually, I think I might go for the long frilly stuff. There we go, that is my sausage pasta with a healthy sprinkling of parmesan, of course. A little more cheese, please, sir. Oh, and I always get asked about these plates now as well. These are the little orange ones that we keep over on this shelf here. They're like um, little pasta bowl plates. Found them in the anthropology sale while we were getting the kitchen done. Um, if there's any available, I'll make sure to link them down below. My evening has been a real mixture of vibes. A real mixture of vibes. I started off by eating an enormous bowl of pasta and watching the latest episode of The Kardashians. I'm gonna round things off tonight by putting a record on and reading a big old hefty chunk of this masterpiece. I actually think last time I did a vlog, I had literally just picked this up and was just about to start this book. And now I'm, where am I up to? Two thirds of the way through, I would say. I'm up to book four. I'm a little apprehensive about reaching the end because my TikTok is basically just a constant stream of people weeping while they finish this book. So I'm slightly worried <laughs> about protecting myself while I, while I get to the end of this book. Um, this is by far and away one of the best books that I've read this year. I will say it took me a pretty decent chunk of the beginning to feel like I was kind of into it. But I really turned a corner with it when I sat and read basically like two hours solidly of it on a train journey. And I think because it's quite a difficult book I found it you know quite challenging to read I think because it's quite difficult that was the perfect scenario to read it in because my attention was like fully concentrated I was really focusing on it and like properly digesting the words and that's the way you have to read this book and this is definitely a tricky read it's a very very intelligent story um to give you a, a little quick overview if you haven't heard about it it's kind of like a dark academia kind of vibe and it deals with some pretty kind of gritty heavy topics i'd say mainly colonialism but there's a lot in it about language and translation and the power that that can uphold um but it also ties in some magic like it's it's an interesting mix of being set in a kind of non-fictional scenario mixed with some fictional stuff too. The characters are just superb, honestly. The main friendship group in this, I love them with all of my heart and soul and I'm genuinely quite scared about what's gonna happen to them. It's very kind of densely packed with information, which probably doesn't sound that appealing, but it's just like really well crafted and you learn a lot as you go. Like I don't really have any kind of like linguistic translation language knowledge of any kind like i've never studied anything like that um so i found it really interesting to just like learn about all of that as well and if you like me spent the entire summer reading tiktok romances uh be prepared for a bit of a challenge and for your brain to be like sorry what now what's happening here <laughs> Oh, you need us again. Welcome back. Honestly, if you're looking for like the perfect read for autumn winter, you want that kind of dark academia vibe. I will say though, when my brain is not focused on this, it's literally just going on a loop over and over. Let's believe I'm still bejeweled. When I walk in the room, I can still make the whole place shimmer. Every day, constantly on a loop, that just tiny bit of that song. So I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and then I'm gonna dive headfirst into this. But thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you hanging out with me and keeping me company today while I basically sorted out my entire life. This kind of trend of like reset afternoon or reset Sunday or whatever is not like an empty trend. Like it genuinely really does help and make things feel a lot more in control and a lot more peaceful. And it's really good for your peace of mind. That is being done and dusted for today. Don't forget to check out the link in the description box down below for cherries along with my discount codes, which will get you 25% off your first order with free shipping 
and free shipping if you're an existing customer. And I think that is officially all I've got to say today. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're doing really well. Have a lovely afternoon, whatever you're up to. And I will see you very soon with another video. Bye.